What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ass to Cheese Gaming. I've seen a lot of hype, excitement, and speculation recently about Mortal Kombat 12, the new NRS game, possibly even being released this year, according to one of the people who works for Warner Brothers Discovery. So, as a lifelong fan, an avid fan of the series, I thought I would offer my speculation slash predictions about who will be and who will not be in Mortal Kombat 12. Let me just say, spoilers for MK11. And also, I'm going to break this up into three parts using MK Trilogy for the Nintendo 64 as a kind of launching pad. The first episode, this will be part one, will be six characters that I came up with who will not be in the feature. Now, first off, having done a little bit of research and I crunched a few numbers based on recent games, and I came up with this speculative prediction. It goes a little bit something like this. I think we will see 24 characters total released at the start of the launch, or excuse me, launch of the game, with one pre-order DLC bonus character for a total of 25, which means with a three-pack DLC that would put the total roster up to 28, I think we will see four brand new characters. We will see two characters that are returning from the MKX and or MK11 games. I think we will see two characters that are returning from the 3D era games, which is MK4, Deadly Alliance, and Deception. So that leaves us with a total of 16 characters left that we have to find. But first, let's go into this MK Trilogy roster real fast. And rule off six that I am can pretty, you know, say will not be featured in the game. We're just going to say these rapid fire. And if you enjoyed this, like, comment, and share. So, first character not to be featured, Cabal. Second character not to be featured, Striker. Third character not to be featured, Johnny Cage. Fourth one, Sonya Blade. Fifth, Jax. And sixth, Raiden. Stay tuned for part three. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.